Welcome back to episode six of our YouTube Simulator Z journey. As you can tell from the title of this video, today we're gonna be checking out something that I've been seeing repeated a lot of my comments as well as sent to me in the DMs with basically right now three different methods of doing this. I'm gonna be honest, at first I thought it was a lie so I didn't really pay too much attention to it. But now that I'm seeing so many people mention it, I feel like it's worth us giving it a shot, testing it out in a video, seeing if it's true. Because if this is the case, this just might be extremely broken. Either way, I've gone ahead and now purchased every single camera as well as PC in the frozen ice world. I swear we're six episodes into this and I still cannot get the name right. But we're basically ready to go ahead and do our rebirth so I can get my hands on some tokens and we can give these three methods a shot. Now, I would like to point out there really is nothing super fancy about this and it's actually pretty straightforward, which is kind of odd because it's more or less a feature that is already in the game. So I'm not sure if this was intended to happen if it does actually work but let me give you guys a quick breakdown on how we even got to this point yesterday i posted a comment at the very top of the video that said if you want to share some tips and tricks of your own in the game because really there is nowhere right now as far as i'm aware of to kind of go and talk about the game you can join my discord which is slash carbon meister i'll go ahead and actually pin the link again at the very top of this comment if you want to join and a good amount of you guys actually went ahead and joined started sharing a bunch of different tips over there but but of course there was the handful of people that left comments telling me other tips which of course is perfectly fine because i know that not everybody has discord so let's jump into the first method that was told to me apparently if you come inside of here open the chest with your tokens hit the question mark on the side it tells you what you're going to be getting now already off the start i can see that this is not the most logical thing i don't really see how that's going to work out really what it looks like it's doing is it's grabbing whichever one is closest to the red line being obviously the 10 percent here and it's magnifying it to show you that that is the ice money multiplier in theory if that is the case, we are going to spin this and get a 10%. I don't see that actually happening, but I could be wrong. Maybe I am going to get a 10% here. Uh, no, we got a 39%. So already method number one is not logical at all. So I think it's pretty safe to say that that one is a bust. Now, the second method was you come into here, you press the question mark. It tells you which is the closest one, which in this case, obviously is 76%. Like I said, then you exit the area, come back in, click on the chest, press the question mark. And this one is the one that's going to be coming out in your role. Again, I don't think that that is how it works. It just wouldn't make any sense. If I was to back out again and come back in, it's more than likely going to change again. Yeah, it is. And I think it's just based off of whatever positioning it starts in. But let's see, man. I mean, this is what you guys are saying. So in theory, we should get a 19% right now. Is that what's going to happen? We actually got a 19%. Okay, well, that's awkward. Um interesting well i have no comment now so does that mean that i can infinitely go in and out and just predict what i'm gonna get is that what's going on here so 39 maybe i don't want a 39 so let's go out come back in click on chest now we're getting a 122 again this is according to what it's saying here i should get a 122 percent I'm okay with that. So let's spend it. Will your boy get a 122% right now? This is not going to work. Like there's just no chance. Yeah, th that's not, that's not how it works. We just got lucky and we ended up getting a 19%. So again, bust, unless it's kind of like a placebo effect where some people see it and then they assume that they're going to get it. Sometimes you got lucky and you actually get it. That does not work. Now, this final method is not one that was shared with me but it's rather what I came across while I was playing during the beta because, well, I just kind of did it by accident while I was trying to figure out what exactly the point of this question mark even was. And the thing was, is that I activated the question mark during my spin. But again, this really doesn't have any benefit because technically I already spent the token, so there's nothing I can do about it. Let me kind of show you guys instead of explaining it so that that way it makes a lot more sense. If I go ahead and activate the spin and I hit the question mark, it's going to show me that we're going to get a 13%. That is a guaranteed 
that boom, we landed on 13%. But there is no benefit in that because there's nothing I can do about it. All it really tells me is in advance what I'm going to get. I have one more token and I'm going to show you guys again that this does work that way. So here we go. We're doing a spin. Click the question mark. We are going to get another 13%. So yes, I guess if you want to bypass the entire animation and really know what you're going to get, then yes, this trick works. But as far as I'm aware, there is no way of guaranteeing yourself getting one of the best plaques in the game. Now, again, I might be doing this completely wrong. And some of the top players out there are like, dude, you're just not doing it correctly. Please let me know in the comments. Let us all know in the comments because we want to know. Or I mean, if you don't want to kind of like, you know, share it out there publicly, you know, join the discord. Let us know in the discord. I mean, your boy could go for some, you know, really good plaques. I have no problem with that. But I feel like this was something that I really needed to kind of do on video because so many people have told me in the comments about this. And it's not just even in the comments. I've gotten DMs telling me that this is a must do. Either way, man, episode six for today was just a really quick one. I hope everyone is having a great weekend. Finally, I will have some time to go ahead and grind. Hopefully I can hit 10 million subs which we will be doing for episode seven, maybe? Or who knows, maybe one of the top players will go ahead and share the method with us. And then for episode seven, we can really talk about how this whole entire trick works. By the way, man, like I mentioned before, quick video for today. Hopefully you guys went ahead and enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel so you do not miss any more of my YouTube Simulator Z videos. We got a lot more coming plenty more episodes and while unfortunately we won't be getting any updates this weekend because i believe indian which is the developer of this game is currently banned for three days because of just how ridiculous the moderation system is i'm sure at some point next week we'll get some type of a tiny update maybe he'll push out a video with some secrets that no one has found yet but in the meantime i hope you guys enjoyed this video like always i will see you guys in the next one take care